I've spent most of my life on stage, singing, acting, debating, even dancing a little bit. Uh, but every time I come up here, I feel like I'm born again. I feel like I can be anyone and do anything. So that's me. I like being up on stage because I'm confident of my abilities. Now I know that most of you don't like coming up on stage and I wonder why. Anyways, all of us want to succeed at whatever we do in life. But what is success? Success by definition is the accomplishment of a name or purpose. But as I would like to think of success as a motivator. Success motivates us to continue doing what we love to do. It makes us feel like we have achieved something and that all our efforts have not gone down the drain. You're probably wondering what does success have to do with confidence? Well, how often do you come across someone who is successful and yet underconfident? When you're underconfident, you hold back. And when you hold back, you can't do your best. All of us have faced a situation where we worked extremely hard on a college or school presentation and when we went up on stage, we got nervous and started to tremble. As a result of which, the one person in class who barely did any work came up on stage, said what he or she had to say with confidence and ended up scoring much more than you and me did. <laughs> Everything we do in our daily life needs confidence. Whether you're singing in front of 10,000 people or in front of 10 people, whether you're representing your country at sports or your school, whether you're pitching an idea to a board of directors or whether you're doing a PowerPoint presentation in front of your class. You have to be confident if you want to be successful. Amen. Now, I believe there are two main reasons why people are not confident. First one being that at some point in our lives, someone has told us, you know what, what you're trying to achieve is a little ridiculous. You can't do it. Second, you know, you're not good enough. And we believe them. Always remember that if people don't laugh at your dreams, that means your dreams aren't big enough. The second one is related to the first one, actually. It's because people don't believe in themselves. They don't believe they have what it takes to achieve their dreams. And in the fear of failing, they often don't try. Now, there are a few things you should keep in mind when you try to build your confidence. The first one, have faith in your abilities. It's extremely important to believe in yourself if you want to be confident. I faced a situation while I was on the show, the stage. So on the day of the semi-finale, I woke up with a runny nose and I was singing the song Attention by Charlie Puth and it's a pumpy song. So once I reached set, I took a medicine and uh, you know, it stopped my nose from leaking. When I went up on stage, I realized that the medicine blocked my nose and blocked my ears because of which I couldn't hear myself. And that was a problem for me. So I just started the song and halfway through I realized that I've made two or three mistakes, I'm not enjoying myself and I really didn't like what I did until then. So in the second half I just took the mic off the stand, walked around on stage, I had fun, I even flirted with one of the judges a little bit. <laughs> And that is the one thing that the judges loved in the performance. After my performance got over, I didn't get the feedback that I would have loved to hear. But I got to hear what I deserved. The judges pointed out that my confidence in the second half, in spite of making errors in the first half, was commendable. And that's why I got a chance at reaching the finals. The next thing that you should keep in mind to build confidence is to be positive. No one succeeds at their first attempt at doing anything. The difference between those who are confident and those who aren't is that the ones who are confident didn't let failure get to them. The best example of this is the CEO of Alibaba.com, Jack Ma. Jack Ma applied to Harvard University 10 times and was rejected all 10 times. He scored one out of 120 at maths. <laughs> he applied to KFC and out of 24 applicants, 23 got the job. He didn't. <laughs> exactly. In 1999, investors told him that his business model was no good, as a result of which he didn't get any investors. Today, Jack Ma is the richest man in China with a net worth of $23 billion, and Alibaba.com is worth $250 billion. Now that's what happens when you stay positive 
and don't give up on your dreams. The next point is rather interesting and uh, it's something that we should all learn. Learn to accept criticism gracefully. When someone criticizes you and tells you, you know what, you had a bad performance or they point out a mistake, most of us just get offended by that. The thing is, we'd rather be spoiled by praise than saved by criticism. So the next time someone criticizes you, accept it. Work on your mistakes and let your next performance be a crazy one. Now, hard work is something that's essential in whichever field you are in. Hard work in taking up new challenges. I started singing when I was three years old. I started playing the keyboard when I was seven. When I was 17, I decided that I should start making YouTube covers. And I said to myself, you know, you've been singing for 14 years and you've been playing the keyboard for 10 years. You can just combine both of them, it's cakewalk. It was a disaster. I cried at my first attempt. I couldn't get past the chorus. I just stopped. I didn't touch my keyboard for a week after that. Today, I can play and sing almost any song without even looking down at my, what my fingers are doing. How? Three years of hard work. It was extremely hard to go back to doing that because I knew I failed miserably at my first attempt. But I know that it's something that's expected of every musician. So if everyone can do it, why can't I do it? Now, it's extremely important that you find an expert in your field who you can idolize. Acting and singing are heavily based on studying experts in your field. And so is sports. When you see an expert do something with so much ease and confidence, you can learn a thing or two. And if you find an idol that you can relate to, It'll make you feel like you're not alone in this world and that'll really help you on your journey. Now, mirror practice is a term that a lot of people are not familiar with. It's something that I use every single time I have to go up on stage. What happens in mirror practice is that you stand in front of a mirror and you do what you're gonna do in front of an audience. You see exactly what the audience is gonna see. And if you don't like something, the audience is definitely not gonna like it. So if you want to change something, just change it. If you feel like you should walk around a little bit while you're giving your speech and direct it to a certain person in the audience, do that. That will make a difference. Or if you think that a slight head tilt will make a difference to what you're saying, do it. It'll probably look cool. Um, now, you know how to build your confidence. But it's extremely important to know how to show your confidence. So. This is one thing I started doing while I was on the show, the stage. I would take a minute to block the world out. Every time I got nervous, I would just sit down in the middle of the stage before my performance and think. Think about my song. Think about the person I'm singing it to. Think about the emotion. Always think about the amount of hard work you've put in to reach where you have Once you manage to do that, nothing in the room will make a difference to you. It'll feel like you're just alone in that room. No one is watching you, no one is judging you. And you can do whatever you want to do. Now when you're at home and when you're alone, you're pretty chilled, right? Like watching TV in your pajamas, you're cool. That's exactly how you should be on stage. Just be comfortable, be in your zone. It's extremely important to just loosen up and take it easy. Because when you loosen up and are comfortable in a tense environment, that makes the viewers think that you're extremely confident and you know exactly what you're doing. Now, the most important thing when it comes to showing confidence, learn to maintain eye contact. If you look at someone dead in the eye with all the concentration and confidence that you have, you can make them believe anything. It's extremely important to express yourself when you're making eye contact. When we're nervous, our hands tend to do involuntary actions, like you'd probably start plucking your nails, some people will crumple up whatever they're holding, you'll start fidgeting with your pants. It happens. Learn to use your hands to express yourself and feel what you're saying. Say it from the heart then it'll come out perfectly. Like, 
There's a difference between giving a speech in front of an auditorium full of people like this, and there's a difference between giving a speech like this in front of an auditorium full of people. Now, before I end, I would like to say one thing that my mom always says to me. And this is especially for all the people out there who think that they aren't good enough. When your heart desires it, and your mind conceives it, and both of them work together towards it, nothing in the world can stop you from achieving it. Thank you.